I'm going to borrow a secret strength now. Um, collab. Oh, collab. Yeah. You can be part of, the, of it if you want. You <laughs> <coughs> buy shares. No, you can't buy shares. No, you can buy shares. You can, yeah. Hostile takeover. Clarence Kennedy. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> welcome back to Sikistan. Oh, we're not in Sikistan, we're in Romania. Send uh, an ambassador ship to Romania. Yeah, it's convoy. Convoy. So yeah. this is the end of day one. We're just going to do a little recap of what we did today. So we got in yesterday. Trained about our flight. Pretty reasonable. Everyone was very tired. There's so no Irish people on the flight. What's that? There's no. no Irish people on the flight. No. no Romania. Literally <laughs> not a single one. Yeah. They didn't even do the uh, safety thing in English. They just did it all Romanian. It's the only plane I've been on where it's all in a foreign language. Yeah. Really? You know, even yeah. in... <laughs> Like French Airways, they usually do it in English afterwards. Yeah, they do. They normally do it. Yeah. They def- I think we're literally the only three Irish people. Yeah. On, or the English speaking people <laughs> on the flight. Um, but yeah, there was nothing. Then we went from the airport, although we were last on, because we were like, no, no, they're not going to leave without us. Yeah. And then it was like last call for a yeah, yeah. flight, whatever. So, uh, flight direct to Cluj. Last time I made the mistake of booking our flights to Bucharest first because I thought there was no direct flights, but. Uh, but the director of logistics managed to work it out. Yeah, well, Dan, Dan, Dan from the box let us know. Yeah. So today we just literally got breakfast. Marvelled at how cheap steak and potatoes was. And um, I didn't get steak. Though. You can no, steak, I didn't get steak. No. Clarence actually had extra steak. <laughs> what did you have actually? You had the uh, uh, small espresso. Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah. is that good? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. The coffee in the second place we There's had. There's no americanos though. Yeah, small yeah. espressos here. So. But he said you can get the espresso <laughs> yeah. or americanos, but I haven't. Oh, we got like the stuff. The food last night was really good. We went to we obviously it was like half twelve by the time we got food, but it was in some kebab place. Yeah, yeah. but they I was assuming open. it was Turkish, but I don't know. Oh, maybe it was Turkish. Yeah, they had at least, like freshly made like bread kebabs, yeah. giant baps. If anyone knows what they are, um, not boobs, but they were. Uh, that was pretty good. Yeah, and then so today, what else? We literally got breakfast. Went we to broke the, our rental car. Oh, we broke a rental car, yeah. So there's like a, one of the steering arms is just going like dum dum every time we turn. Yeah, it's either the drive is gone or we've broken a steering rod. Yeah, well, you didn't break it. No. Just in case Europe cars watching this, we didn't break it. No, no, it was no, like, no, no. It was like that when we got it. It was like that immediately. Yeah. So um, then literally just went training. So the last time the box is the name of the gym was in a different place. It was re- it was a way bigger than this one. I was like four or five times bigger. Uh, you've obviously seen on the last vlogs from 2019. But they had to. Why did they have to move? You know, you know. It was COVID. Oh, was it was it COVID? Yeah, it was COVID. Yeah. Okay, so they. Were, I think they. They kind of struggled a bit with COVID. I think, yeah. but they're managing to, um, build back up again. They have like an outdoor area. Yeah. But they're trying to close that in because it gets pretty cold, in uh, in Romania during the. I weekend. really like where the gym is. Yes. In that sports complex with the pitches and the fields and stuff. Um. So what else did we do today? Anything else? No. No. So we were training. What uh, what did you do, Clarence? Well, I just went light on the snatch. Uh, just went up to it was one twenty. Yeah, you know, went up to yeah. yeah. Did some fast power snatches. Felt good. Yeah. Um, then we did clean jerks up to one forty. All of us actually. <laughs> you cleaned one forty. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then you did some fast front squats as well. Yeah, front squat up to two hundred. You've been focusing on front squat a lot lately, have you? Um. Yeah, more front squats. Uh, Instead of back squats, I just like doing that when I'm peaking. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Is that why your rack position looks perfect? Oh, the rack position is good because I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> so you did front squats. What did you do there? I did uh, missed a load of snatches. Yes. Then I cleaned one forty. Very happy with the clean, um, because I hadn't really gone heavy at all since I started training again. Uh, so cleaned one forty and then did back squat two hundred. You uh you haven't been much back squats to be fair. You know as much chance front squat you now as you would nearly back squat. Yeah. Because you've done a lot of one eighties last week. Yeah. No, I'd be very, very confident about front squat. But uh <coughs> back squat I just haven't been squatting for a while. The thing with your lower back, so there is lower back in the snatch, normally is obviously like just really flat and rigid, but I think from the plane you were so Yeah. Like I think it was fucking up your ability to move back your knees. I haven't missed the snatch in ages. No. Uh and I did the same thing like 90, 95, 100, 105. Mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it, I'll go 110. Yeah. Uh, but it just wasn't there. Also, it's really jarring my wrist. So Fitz has a lump in his wrist. Uh, they, so we call, in Ireland, there's a nickname, they're called Bible bashers because people used to smash them with a Bible to get rid of them. Yeah. I never heard of that. Did <laughs> you ever heard of that? No. Yeah. So, I don't even know if it gets rid of it. I don't think it gets rid of it. I'm sure it's not recommended. It's not like a cyst full of pus. Like it's, 
like I don't know it's like some kind of calcified tissue or something so I don't know if that's what that is but Gabriel saw it and was like oh you'll need surgery and he's like typical first thing this morning yeah. as well I was like oh do you think this is serious he was like yes you will need surgery <laughs> that was it <laughs> like, oh, fuck. he's like I had the girl and she got it and it's better yeah but I think the recovery time in those is pretty fast though because um, he said she was like back in two weeks I yeah. know like Yasmin Stevens got it and she was back in like two weeks as well so are you going to look into when you go home or are you yeah, going to ignore it? So. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because I had just been ignoring it, but now it's like swelling up after every session. To be fair, I've never heard you complain about anything, bar your back that time, about anything. So if it's hurting you that yeah. much, then it must be hurting you a lot. Yeah. Uh, what did I do? So I just did some doubles on my 20 in the snatch. Um, my shoulders are just, from being like this for so long, I think they're just really fucking tight. On top of the shoulder issues and then just some power cleans. Gabriel was asking why I couldn't rack a bar, and I was trying to explain why my wrists, why my wrists were sore. But he was like, "Pain is good," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> he was like, "So, what? Well, this side's a little bit lower, but I can't. Any flexion in my wrists just really hurts them at the moment." Um, and he was like, "Just shrug up your shoulders." And I was trying to do it was a little bit better, but it's still pretty sore. So, um, and you're when you're power cleaning, you're attaching it like this. Yeah, yeah. See, I which you never do like. No, so normally I just let go of the hook grip. But that's too much flexion for me, so like it really. What you doing in one eighty five? Did you like? Uh, I held the hook grip. That was oh. like the second session in like three years. Yeah, so, but it was so warm in in Malta. I was just yeah. really fucking loose all the time, you mm. know. So it made it a lot easier. So uh, I just need to practice that. Oh, I tried like letting go of the hook grip and clean. It just does not suit me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I tried that like for years. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't work for me. The turnover is so much stronger if you can yeah. hold the hook grip. Yeah. You just have so much more pull on it. Mm. Um, but Gabriel. So just did that, and then back squat two twenty for double, and then two hundred kilo deadlifts. Uh, so Gabriel did like one twenty snatches <laughs> routine. Like you forget how good lifters lift when you don't lift with other people, you know, When you're like top class talent, like yeah. So obviously, like he just he hasn't been training that much, or he says he has been training that much. So he did like one twenties, no problem. Then he did like one forty clean and jerk. It looked. I don't know. Same as always. Like, yeah, yeah. Any better. It's always nice to see speed and everything. Yeah, yeah. techniques really good. Yeah. It's so his, powerful. I love his clean and like, jerk. It's yeah. just so fucking. His jerk is just so fucking powerful. Even at those lighter weights, he's not training that much. Mm. And then so he was squatting, and he was like, "Did one forty And we were actually before he started squatting, he yeah. said like, "You asked him when yeah. he's squatting." And yeah. He was like, "Uh, like one eighty for a triple at most." Yeah. Struggling to do like 90, 190 for reps. Yeah, yeah. And then he did two twenty. Yeah. For a double detection, <laughs> and it was just really easy. It looks. It looks. It so looks like good. you can squat like two seventy or something. Oh, it does. Hundred yeah. percent. Even when we were building up, we went from one forty. We we're like, oh, we're going one eighty, and he was like, you want to go one sixty? Yeah, yeah. Like he was just like, yeah. He was like, oh, so we went one forty, and then we were gonna go one eighty next. To everyone, and he was like, not one. And he was serious, like, not one sixty. We were like, no, we go 160. <laughs> so then he does, he's like, okay, okay, I'll go 180. So then he went 200. And Clarence, you did 200 as well, didn't you? Yeah. yeah just yeah. like, as fast as you possibly could. And then it was like, okay, let's go 220 game. He was like, no, no. And I was like, come on, you have to go. So, and then it was faster than 180. Yeah. He's just, and he squats. Crazy. His, it's, his hip structure and legs and everything is just built for the style of squat he does. Yeah. It's just perfect. It's useless for everyone else to see, like, but... It's just immaculate, just positions. Yeah. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah. The thing with the session today that we were taking the piss about as well, with like needing to wear earplugs when you're lifting, uh, his foot movement is so aggressive. Yeah. Like your ears would genuinely be ringing afterwards. Oh, yeah. They weren't there. So we're, the gym is like the weight of this room, like, so it's like, what, like two or three meters wide, about four meters there or whatever. But it was just like. <laughs> Just every rep is just yeah. like, just fucking. And he didn't even notice. He no. was like, what? We're like, it's really loud in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else? So he has this, uh, oh, he doesn't actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great session. There was a really talented young fella in there. He was like, so he came in first and he's like, six foot two? Six foot Yeah, one? six two, I'd say. Just, just built like fucking a amateur Frank Zane kind of like proportions, just really jacked, like tiny waist, really big arms. And Gabe was like, he's 15. And we were like, no fucking <laughs> no way. And then they were like, no, he's 17. And we were like, <laughs> yeah. he looks like he's 30. So he's done two years of weightlifting, 115 snatch and 135 clean and jerk. 210 squat? Yeah, the 210 yeah. squat is crazy. crazy. Yeah. And he's like 93 kilos. His squat looks good as well for somebody with long legs. Yes, very like, good. Like, looks nice. It's really hip dominant, but he makes it work very yeah. well. So he's like, just 
obviously very talented at weightlifting. Gabriel said he curls 70 kilos, but I don't believe him. His arms are huge, though. <laughs> his like. arms are huge. Yeah. No wonder he's trouble at the lockout. That's what Gabriel said. But he's, yeah. his arms are really long. So we're joking, he should play rugby. But, um, and then Gabriel's misses Mia. She's doing nationals weekend after next, I think. Yeah. She's like 60 kilos or something. Next weekend? No, he said weekend. What was it? She's like repping 105 kilos in the back squat. And then... Technique looks very, very good. Very, very good, yeah. Yeah. Doing dog doubles with 75 kilo clean and jerks, but it's perfect. Like, yeah. So, uh, so they're like... Sometimes, obviously, women's weight, sometimes you're like, on oh, 105 squat, but that's nearly nearly double body weight for reps, you know? So it's like, very, very good. It's like 250 kilos for you, like... Yeah, it's a lot, like... Yeah. <laughs> so then, we went to the Catalan then, and we bought some cheap stuff. Some socks. Yeah. Uh, so the plans are probably heavy tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Which you'll see on Clarence's second channel. And then, what's your plan, Clarence? Tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, maybe heavy snatch, I'll see how I feel. Yeah. And then, take it easy on Wednesday, and then heavy clean jerk on Thursday. Yeah. And then go home on Friday. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What do you plan if it's? I'm going to not snatch tomorrow. Right. And try and rest this a bit. And yes. see can we buy some tape. And then I'm going to do, so I'll do front squats plus jerks, and then heavy enough front squats. And then maybe do some snatch pulls at the very, very end. And then I'll do snatch and clean and jerk Wednesday, snatch and clean and jerk Thursday. Do you get much other pulls, snatch pulls? Just, it's only because my mid and upper back is doing that, like, rounding forward. That's the only reason I went through them. Doing them very light, like. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do snatch, clean and jerk tomorrow, and then... Max out Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <go>. Here we <laughs> go. So, some front squats and tomorrow as well, maybe, and more clean pulls. And then Wednesday... I think we're going to go to a commercial gym. Yeah, we have to destroy the commercial gym. Yeah, yeah. part two. <laughs> the People are asking, so we have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to max out then when no one's looking at Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just doing some deadlifts. Oh, that's what you did last time. Yeah. yeah. That's how you're playing a jerk early. I didn't even plan it. I was just like... Yeah. I was, you did plan it. No, you I did. Yeah, you, you did it. it. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't have it planned, but I was just warming up and I was like, Jesus, the, the PB fairies are there, so I was like, I'm just going to have to do it now. Like, But I did hide it from me when I was warming up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I was just in the corner, just trying to, uh, with those nice D8 bars in uh, the CrossFit Trilly. And then it was just, I got. You looked like a kid who was after stealing a packet of biscuits and didn't have anyone to know we were eating them. I hate when people ask, though. Like, yeah, are you oh, maxing? Yeah. I, I always say, like, well, I'm just seeing how I feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine to say, like, a heavy session or whatever, yeah. but maxing, like, you're just. Oh, it's my number one way of pissing you off, like. Yeah, yeah, really. Is being, like, when. When are you going heavy? Yeah. Or if he's like starting a training cycle, being like, oh, so you're max here in August, do you? Is there an issue with that in terms of sports psychology from your point of view? Like, is that like a. You shouldn't ever be like. Yeah. Diverting away from something, you know? Yeah. yeah like yeah. that aversion mentality mm. isn't good. But like. it's For me, it's a superstitious thing. Yeah. It's not like I'm afraid of maxing. It's like. If you say it like. But a lot of times I'll say in my head what I'm going to do. Like that day, like with Yasmin, on the Monday in my head, I was like, go every Friday, I'm going to do 185. Yeah. You know? Well, that's perfect then, yeah. because you're not lying to yourself. No, I'm not lying to yourself, but I've said no, it. No, I, I don't lie to myself. I just yeah. don't want to embarrass myself. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm If I tell like, everyone, oh, I'm going to max out this day and then just fail miserably. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's, that's the problem, yeah. 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 But you, your failure misery is still like 210, so yeah. everyone's, like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like, this is your own worst. Our failure misery could be like 160, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm kind of superstitious about it too, saying it out loud, you know, like yeah. specific numbers mm. or whatever, you know. But now I know it's a joke at this stage too. It is like, a joke, like, it's like a meme now with us. It's gone too far now though. Yeah. Whereas like, Gabriel might actually max out and do 180 or something like. Gabriel's a fucker for doing the sneaky max out as well. Super sneaky. Yeah. Or the sneaky <laughs> training where he's like, no, 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 no I'm not training, no, no, no. He said that even before, like, when he came to in 2019, he's like, oh, training's not going great, I don't feel that great today. And then, <laughs> then he fronts got a 240 with no warm-up. No warm-up, like. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. That level of he said that comes from he just did some. His first coach when he was a teenager just made him do like five by five like all the time, and he said it just never left him that mm. ability to do loads of fronts or loads of squats. You know, just yeah. But Ilya said the same thing that interviewed Seb when he was a teenager. They just did loads of like reps in the deadlift and the squat, and then oh, I guess I didn't make any mistakes when I was training when I was young. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Like yeah. just like a big broad base at the start. No, it definitely doesn't make it definitely makes mm. a huge difference. Yeah. But you see that fifteen year old dude he's doing like our seventeen year old dude. Literally all he did was like muscle snatches. Yeah, it was all strength work. Yeah. All strength, yeah. yeah. But that's the same thing Thomas coaches he has been doing. It's just like pulls. He said he actually said to her the most important thing if you can do nothing else is do squats and pulls. Yeah. Whatever goes on. 
and it's obviously yeah. working for them yeah for sure um but Gabriel said he does like pulls so when he's training like three times a day or whatever the snatch pulls he do in the morning would be the same weight he wanted to snatch later so like one eighty yeah. for like that makes sets. a lot of sense yeah but like when I did the one eighty five my clean is really strong and I was doing like I did pulls like every day for like two weeks before intentionally like just to fucking to do that you know but it makes sense like why would you not yeah basically Mark Rippleto is right I think from what Mark Rippleto Mark Rippleto <laughs> Mark Rippleto <laughs> do you ever see in the comments of his videos actually how much abuse he gets from no there are people like call him a fat lobster what so red and stuff but I think it's a joke though <laughs> yeah um, so yeah I'm glad we're not doing morning sessions this time around I, I remember last time we were here we used to do like yeah. session in the morning and session in the evening that's kind of wanted to see what Gabriel would have wanted us to do you know yeah um, if I've been doing morning sessions up until like last week I'd probably want to do them again but because I've gone two weeks out of them now I don't yeah. think I don't think there's any point yeah it just feels kind of pointless for me at this point really yeah like, why would you yeah mm. you'd have to spend a couple of months doing it yeah, to yeah. get anything out of it uh, definitely not this week no uh, I got a lot of it because it was the first time in my fucking career I could ever do that and not be dead yeah after a session <clears throat> so uh, yeah so tomorrow big ish session Wednesday destroy a commercial gym Thursday <laughs> back to the box Back to the box for not maxing. <clears throat> no maxing going on on Thursday. Right. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like this, we'll do a part two again. Tomorrow. Yeah, let us know if you do want the part two. Yeah. And we'll do the same thing again. Yeah. Thanks for watching.